the launch of uh, UFC 2010. So guys, if you mind introducing yourselves, uh, start with Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously Ross Pearson. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> I'm Tony Atom. Paul Kelly. Andrew Winner. Slick Nick or Shake Jack. <laughs> so guys, obviously you're at the launch of this game. Uh, you guys played it yet? Had a quick game? Yeah, yeah a few of us. Yeah, what do you think of it? We all played each other in the back. Oh, did you? Who won? Me. Next to you, Dark Horse. He's been back to the the previous champ from the uh, first, first UFC game. But, uh, yeah. Cool, so uh, just sort of, guys, how did you all get into mixed martial arts? I don't want to go first, anyone? Well, yeah. I started. <laughs> I just started actually with Kung Fu, which I was doing at uni for that for two years, and then uh, towards the end of that, I'd start watching UFC and realised you know that what real fighting was. Um, so then I just joined a good MMA club and took it from there. Um, I've always been in sports. Um, I took part in karate when I was younger, and um, it was only until I was about 22 years old when I went out to the street fighters and I saw uh, Paul Daly and Dan Hardy training there and uh, my friend of mine always used to say to me if you train all this, doing all this training and you don't do anything with it, then what's the point? So I saw them guys I saw them guys training and I thought to myself look if they can do this so can I so that's it, I just took it from there. Yeah, it me, I mean I'm from a family of boxers and I was always a fatty so yeah, <laughs> I could never box when I was younger, I was always too heavy. <laughs> I would have ended up boxing a giant, you know, and it kind of drifted off, and then, you know, then I joined the gym when I was like 19, and from there, I mean, I never, I never, I never started fighting with the intention of where we are today, all of us, you know, even on the team that got up. Yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go, and then that way I'm not the let down in the family, as every one of the family is boxed or boxed, you know, <coughs> and then it's, I've smoked them all out. <laughs> I've uh, always been a fan of the UFC since I was very young, I remember when I was 10. My dad actually gave me a video of the UFC 2. And I'll never forget it, I'm not going to watch it, and I just couldn't believe what I was watching. And ever since then, I was uh, obsessed with the UFC, but at that age, I used to just box. I boxed up until I was 16, and then I just stopped there, and uh, I never done that. I worked until I was 18. And I uh, found out the uh, local gym. Which is Team Bravo, which is the gym and it's Sailor. And I uh, started Sailor there and back since then. Uh, basically, I started martial arts from a young age. I started out when I was about six. Uh, I got a black belt in Taekwondo when I was nine. Uh, moved into Judo, got a brown belt in Judo. And from Judo, I went into amateur boxing from about 13 to 17. Uh, and about, I was 17, 18 year old. When I was a teen, going through school, I wanted to be a professional boxer, so I wanted to be in the fighting game anyway, and so I was concentrating on being a boxing then. One day, one of my friend put on the UFC DVD, I mean, I hadn't even heard of it, put it on, and it was, like you see, I just couldn't believe what I was watching, and I was like, I want some of this, and it just went, just couple, we started off in a gym, no bigger than this room, I think it was about eight mats, and we just used to go down and just beat each other up, man. We weren't, uh, didn't know anything what we were doing, and then eventually we moved into a gym, and that's where it's came from. So when you guys first started out, did you ever think it would end with you like, all sort of fighting out in America and actually fully making it? Or did you My school would have said to me when I first started, you know, you're going to go and you're going to fight in Vegas, you're going to fight in Canada, you're going to be on the UFC game. I just, I just think that, like, you would have a lot, you know, I think that it's a, such a great opportunity for all of us and it's like life changing you know what I mean? It's totally, totally life changing. I mean the life life changing, I mean, what we would be yeah. doing. I would I mean, be I don't know what I'd be doing now because like I wasn't doing this and to be honest with you, like I couldn't imagine doing anything else now, do you know what I mean? I mean once you started it it just becomes part of your life. And you think it's starting to pick up in the UK a bit more it's, I mean, it's been massive in the States for quite a while now. It's a massive thing it's going to be yeah. you know, huge. It's I mean, I get people who recognise me on the street now from the success with the Ultimate Fighter. But I mean, there's a lot of people out there that have got a lot of knowledge on, um, on just the UFC now. And a lot of their fighters and the, just um, what it's about with the ground game and everything. You know, you yeah. don't have like um, the Jiu Jitsu and the wrestling as much out here. But I think um, the fans' knowledge of what's going on in the cage now is really important. 
So when they see people um, looking for submissions or getting out of submissions and working to certain positions, you know, you hear a lot of cheering and things like that. So I think um, the knowledge with the fans and just with the general public um, is greatly improved. And uh, it's kind of to each year really. Do you have a favourite fighting style? Uh, do you guys prefer to win by knockout or by submission? Uh, for me, it's got to be a knockout TKO. Yeah, it's a knockout That's what the crowd want to see as well, knockouts. Yeah. So, uh, get a good knockout, you might win knockout the night, you get a few more fans, and obviously, uh, it's a good tap on your highlight reel. I just want a question for you. Well, I mean, a lot of you obviously train together. What's it like to then go into the ring and fight each other on proper cards and for big well, bucks? Well, that's only me and Jose that's actually fought each other, and that wasn't by choice. That was just the way the show went down, the way the show planned out. Uh, obviously, we beat every, all the American guys, so the two British guys had to fight each other in the end. Uh, I wouldn't want to fight him again, you know, he's my teammate, he's a good friend, you know. Uh, that was not a fight that I remember enjoying. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm happy that the result that I come out went my way, but it's not a fight that I enjoyed at the time, and I wouldn't like to do it again. If, if the UFC come and says we want to fight Andre Winner, I'd probably say no. I'm not feeling cold when I go back to that. I mean, I'm with the teammates who tell you. I can't even have to fight at all. Not unless forced to take a fight. And even then, no, I wouldn't know even if, if he had the title. I'd be welcome to it. Honestly, God, I don't need to fight. Everyone always says to me and Paul, you know, you well, deserve a fight. My answer's an all right. Every other sport, if you have to play football, if you have to play football, you can't really fight. Do you know what I mean? You just can't, you know. You're on top of four, and you know. Like, you've got to cut me on with his elbows. You know, couldn't do that. It's your mate there, as well as being teammates, you know. We go out together on the time, on nights out, like, when we're not saying we're fighting, you know, go out. You know, as, as, as like, spend that much stuff. time beating each other up in the gym and not on that each other. You get a proper bond, do you know what I mean? You get that yeah. proper bond. I feel sorry for these two having to do it. I mean, I had a fight with Paul Taylor, and now Paul Taylor trains with me, and yeah. like, it's mad because. When we're sparring, I get flashbacks of it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's mad that we have some heavy, we have some heavy sparring. I saw you guys are really tough on it, but does it, you just not worry about getting injured when you step in, into the Oxford? It's just a complete mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that really enters your head. I mean, yeah. you're oh, so focused on yeah. what you're going to do that, um, that getting injured doesn't really come into your mind. And I just very confident, isn't it? And also, I think you you want to win so bad, you work so hard for it that you're kind of almost you don't care whatever happens to you. You're willing to sacrifice whatever happens happens. You know what I mean? Like BJ Penn said it once before a fight. I'm just like, yeah, if I've got my arm breaks, whatever, my leg breaks, whatever, I'm willing to die. Kind of like that. I think all right. I think it makes me thought about it. You know, you be able to fight. You know, it like you went through every bad thing to you. I mean, that's not a fighter. You know, if that goes through your head, you know, you, 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 know, you need to get another job because you're like in the wrong yeah. sport, you yeah. know. I'm fighting the same things like that and you're like thinking, oh, I'm going to get knocked out and I'm going to, you know, forget that. I'm going to knock you out, you know what I mean? Let's do this. <laughs> Some fighters, they go and get the nose fixed and whatever. And <laughs> I mean, I, I've things. got all my teeth glued in it. And there's no point in, I mean, I could go to the dentist. It's not like I couldn't afford to go and do it. I can go and get it paid for it and get it done. But there's just pretty much no point because when I walk in the gym and get kicked by the salmon, that's Teddy's foot by the way. I'm going to get kicked by the salmon and the teeth are going to come out and then I'm going to go over there. So you've just got to face facts that you're going to get it. You're going to be that a bit uglier than the guy standing next to you and you're going to have to use your chair to get with him. <laughs>